Hey guys, I'm Sim Fado from Cynics TV and welcome back. If you guys are looking for some last minute Halloween ideas for a party or for your guests or just for your family at home, I got a whole bunch of ideas for you guys that I'm gonna be sharing with you guys today involving a whole bunch of food. As you can see, I have all my props and all my food ready to go. Let's jump right into it, guys. So for this first one here, it's gonna be vampire donuts. All you need is a round donut, some vampire teeth, and some candy eyes like I have here. Now, these vampire teeth, you could get them at the dollar store for very cheap. And the cool thing about these vampire teeth is that they're actually glow in the dark. So if you turn off the lights, they'll actually uh, glow in the dark, which is really cool. So let's get started with this one, guys. So basically, all you need to do is just grab your little vampire teeth and you just want to close them about that much and just squeeze it in there just like I'm doing here all the way to the bottom just like that and you just want to take two little candy eyes and you just want to put you could actually decorate it as, 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 as however you guys feel like you guys want to do it like if you want to make a cyclops then you just put one if you want to make a regular one then you would drop two which is what I'm going to do with this guy here just want to grab it, dip it down there, just like that. So it creates the illusion of a vampire donut. And if you want to get a little bit fancier with it, guys, you could also get this, this red jelly that I have here. Put some around his teeth to make it look like he's actually bitten somebody and sucked the blood out of him. And I'll, I'll give you a, a demonstration of what that would look like. I've already covered this guy in red jelly. And you could just put it like around his teeth, just like this here. So it creates the illusion like he already went off and bit somebody. Might have been me because I got all these red marks on me, but who knows. <laughs> so here's your chocolate version of it and here's your glazed donut version of it. And on the glazed one, I put the red jelly on it. It makes it look a lot cooler because it's a lighter donut. And the dark one, will the eyes stand out more, guys, so it looks cooler. So I finished prepping all these donuts, guys. This is what it's gonna, this is the end result right here is what you're gonna get. It looks pretty nice. I got Cyclops in here, regular ones, and uh, really ridiculous looking ones. It's kind of hard to get the glow in the camera, guys, but if you, if you guys have these glow things, they really do glow in the dark, so your guests will see them in the dark. Even with a couple lights off, you will notice them. But it's just on camera, it's really hard to get the glow on the camera. But once you turn off your lights, I promise you guys that you will get that glow and it will be really cool. It'll stand out really awesome. And the guests get to keep the teeth as a little party gift or, or whatnot. And you can just play around with that. And the candy eyes are actually edible. So once you bite into those, you don't have to even remove those. You can just eat those. So it's cool. All right, guys. So for this next one, I'm going to be showing you guys vampire jello shots. And uh, it's basically like the blood of the vampire. But all you need for this, guys, to present it to your guests is just a... Uh, I use styrofoam plates all the time, um, but you want to probably get some jello just like this one here so you can make a large amount. And you want to get some of these plastic syringes that I got here. And this will be like the, the vampire's blood trapped in here. For video purposes, I already have a jello that's already made. And so I'm just going to get started with that one, guys. So basically, all you want to do is you just want to take your, your jello, put it on your plate, and you want to take your little plastic syringe like I have here and just dip it in there, just like that there, and just start absorbing that vampire blood, just like that. And now guys, these syringes that I have here, you can get them at uh, Walmart in packs of uh, 12s and sometimes in packs of sixes, and they come in handy for a lot of things, but this is some uh, cool little prop that you can use for your Halloween uh, get togethers. And I'll do this one too right here. And there you go guys, that's like your vampire jello shots. And I'll take one myself just to try them out because it looks good. Mm, that blood tastes good. <laughs> For this third one, I got this jack-o'-lantern cheeseburger that I'm going to be showing you guys. Basically the jack-o'-lantern is going to be going on the cheese for your guests. So it's going to be a cool little decoration that you can leave for your people once they come to eat or something like that. Basically all you need for that is just a, a patty and, two, and a bun. And so let's get started on this one. Now, what you want to do is uh, take your knife and just uh, carve into the cheese like if you were going to carve a pumpkin. 
But then the cheese is so easy. So I'll just cut like a like a little circle around. And you wanna go all the way around. Just like that. Just remove those out of the way. And once you've done that, you got this like circular, circular shape here. And you just want to start carving in your uh, pumpkin face, your jack-o'-lantern face. And I'm just going to go with little triangles. And there you go. So I just finished him out, guys, and that's what it should look like right there. And then once you get that, guys, you just want to put that on your patty. Just like that there. And then you just take your patty, your, your bun, put that on that like that. And there you go, guys. For this next one here, we're gonna have severed fingers in the, in the, and they're gonna be hot dogs, but it's gonna look like severed fingers. And all you guys need for this one is just some hot dogs and some bread. And, uh, and maybe a little, a smaller kitchen knife than this, but this is the only one I have, so I'll use it. Basically, what's gonna happen is your hot dog is gonna be your severed finger and uh, it's gonna be like you're eating a finger. So it's gonna look really neat. All right, so we'll get started by just carving into this hot dog here. And you just wanna make a line, not too deep, but just enough to get the top portion off. And you wanna cut closest to the top of the hot dog. So this is what you guys cut out should look like. And this is gonna be like the nail part. And then for the mid sections, you guys probably just wanna make some lines with your knife just to look like your finger. So you just wanna make some line cutouts just like this here. And then there you go guys, it's got like a like a finger. You just take your bun like this here and you just wanna place it on there, your little finger on there. So now it looks like your guests are eating a finger. It's a hot dog, but it looks like your guests are eating a finger just like that. And to get even more creative with this guys, you could put like maybe a ugly looking nail and paint that with your mustard would be like the paint for that. Since it's a severed finger, you probably want to have some blood on it and that'll be the ketchup of the hot dog. Just like this here. So there you go, those are your severed fingers and it's really easy to make. All, it's, all you need is just a, a hot dog and a bun. The rest is up to you guys. Last but not least guys, we have the spider cookie. And for this one, we need a, a combination of things. I'm gonna use these vanilla wafers. I'm using two of those. I'm using some fudge icing, and I'm using a little Reese's, and I'm using candy eyes, and I put some fudge icing in here to give me some better aim to make some legs on it, to draw some legs on it. First thing you wanna do is you wanna take two little wafers out, put them next to each other just like this here, and the next thing you want to do is you want to take a spoon and get some fudge, put that fudge on there, and you want to spread it evenly all across that wafer, just like I'm doing here. Uh, if you're a big chocolate fan, the more you put on it, the, the better. I'll put enough at least to cover the majority of the top of the wafer. So once you've done that, then you just align them again, just like I had them originally. And then you want to take your Reese's mini Reese's peanut butter cup. And you want to place this part on the back, just like that there, just like a spider's bump. I'm gonna take two of those for the spider's eyes, and I'll just put those right at the front, just like that there, and another one. And then the last step for this guys is you. Want, this is why I put this uh, the fudge in a little baggie, so I can draw the legs of the spider. You just wanna draw four, like the spider has, four legs. So there's the second one. And this is really cool. You can have a lot of fun with this decorating it. And your guests will be impressed by this. And there it is, there's your spider cookies. Now if you want to get a little bit fancier, you can get some white fudge and draw some web on it. That's optional if you want to. But it looks really cool. And once you're done with them, your guests will have a whole bunch of little spider cookies all around that they can feast on. So it looks really nice. All right, so I'm gonna eat this one here. Mmm. Very good stuff. 
All right, so that was five last minute Halloween food ideas that you could do for your guests, your family members, or your friends, or just for yourself, just to have fun. So if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more, and we'll be putting out a lot more fire for you guys. This has been Sin Fatal from Cynics TV, and I'm out. Chill, boy.